Good morning, YouTube family. <clears throat> yeah, it's morning. Um, let's see. It's too darn blasted hot to plant anything. So my efforts are going to be turned to the indoors. We tried growing tomatoes. We tried, tried growing potatoes. My mother-in-law brought over... Um, spider plants and succulents and cactus when they came over from California and the only thing that's doing well outside is the cactus so uh, we moved the succulents indoors and we're reviving them and she just took the spider plants and transplanted them into smaller pots and we'll be moving those indoors because they just are nothing is surviving outside in the heat that we're planting so we're going to regroup the thoughts of planting a vegetable garden in the fall uh, it's just not doable to do a summer garden here in the Phoenix Valley so that's what's been going on with that the, their house finally has a closing date of September 29th and so then we'll take the next week out thereafter finishing up you know painting a wall here and there and getting their things moved in um, and I had a setback because I had my parents air conditioning go out and they were here for almost two weeks sleeping on twin beds in my living room because my mother can't go upstairs so yeah, it's been an interesting ride the last several weeks and so I'm gonna take you along for a ride on some of the things that I've got going on indoors in the Phoenix Valley so the messy living room area is driving me crazy one of my projects I'm working on an afghan with the stitch pattern to it the color is amusing or the yarn amusing is a big twist value and a big twist twinkle This color is white. It is not a bright white. And then there's teal for the sparkle. And olive green. Come over here. This table. And look at the other colors. We also have camel. And light green. And twinkle and green. in peacock and value in teal and value in taupe that's going to be one of the afghans that I'm making for the living room this afghan started with this color I don't know it, it's just stuck out to me I really really liked it a lot and another one I'm going to make with this brunette blanket yarn and its colorway is forest sage it has a little bit of a 
pale bluey teal in it along with the greens and some gray. And I started down these colorways because the pillows that came with my brown couches have some of this in it. And yesterday I went shopping and found fabrics. This is going to be sewn into a panel to go over the kitchen sink. Uh, I'm not sure. I think that's going to go in the guest bedroom somehow. And I may be reupholstering a chair in this fabulous that I got. These two I got on sale for $4.50 a yard and picked up the last that they had. And then I also have I got these fabrics at Hobby Lobby. This was not on sale, but I got a yard of this to replace that brown on that door. It's a nice thick fabric. And I also bought these three coordinating fabrics to make some pillows or table runners or whatever else in the living room to go with the already brown and blue teal, aqua, turquoise, whatever you want to call them, colors. But I just thought those all looked nicely together. So those are colors for the living room area. And it'll be nice having some fresh um, blankets to go with that, of which I'll show you a tutorial of what I'm doing for the blankets. I really, really love looking for inspiration in all of the farmhouse videos and posts and Pinterest and all of those sorts of things from the different magazines and whatnot. I really love the look of farmhouse. The only thing I don't like about the farmhouse posts are the white and gray. I am so over white and gray. I have a lot of white and gray in my kitchen area which I try to add more colors to. My walls are this real soft green tone. And then up there behind the copper molds is kind of a blue gray. Not sure I like that. The cabinet in there has a green behind it, but it doesn't show off the plates and dishes well. So that's gonna get repainted white. And then I have the green over on this wall also. I want to get some more panels, kind of in this color, to go on that window and that window to take the lace down. The lace is just not working for me in this room. And so those I will be redoing and eventually we'll do some rearranging on there and there. This fall is coming, so I'll throw in some fall decor. And over on the other side of the couch there, there is a day bed that currently needs to stay there. Not my favorite piece, but it needs to live there for a little while longer, just to make sure. That's where my mother was sleeping when they came to stay with us for almost two weeks while their air conditioning was being repaired in their house. Who would think that in the Phoenix Valley they would not be fully stocked with parts for every kind of air conditioner imaginable? Imagine that. Um, so yes, let's see what we can do here. This blanket that I'm starting on started with a single crochet foundation row and then it is an X of double crochets and then another single uh, half double I'm sorry half double crochet foundation row X's of double crochets another row of half double crochets the white rows are single crochets then we go back to a row of half double crochet, X's in double crochet, half double crochet, 
single crochet, half double crochet, X's, and etc. all the way through. I just got myself some really lovely Furls Slimline Crochet Hooks. I'm using an eye hook, which you can see is a 5.5 millimeter. This hook feels so nice in my hand, has a long enough shaft to it, has a great shape to the head, and it's just crocheting up a dream with this Big Twist yarn. There's been a couple of times when the Big Twist yarn was splitting just a hair, but not too shabby. So let me set the camera up and I'll show you what I'm doing for this pattern. Okay, for this pattern, I'm going to make a swatch show you, so you can see. I made my blanket, you want to make even numbers, I made my blanket 122 stitches wide. So I made a slip stitch and I chained one, yarned over, insert hook, yarn over, pull through, so we have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops, yarn over, insert hook in that loop right there, yarn over, so we have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three, just here, yarn over, insert through there. We are making the foundation row out of half double crochets. Bring it in a little closer so you can see. I'm trying to keep my fingers out of the way. Oops, that wasn't right. The yarning over. Let me make a few more of these and then I'll come back to you. Okay, for the purposes of the swatch, I have 10 half double crochet foundation rows. I'm going to chain, no, I'm going to turn my work, I'm going to pull this out, and I'm going to put my finger really tightly here, twist around the yarn, insert my hook into the space, yarn over, and pull it through while keeping my finger tightly on the hook there. Yarn over, pull through two spaces, and then pull through two. I find doing the, this as a post, as opposed to just chaining, gives a better product on the edge. Oof. Okay, come on. And then I'm going to do another double crochet here. Come on, camera. It's having a hard time keeping up with the focusing. Okay. So on the edges, I do two double crochets. I skip this stitch. Do a double crochet here. And then yarn over and I come back around and I go back into the stitch that I skipped. It's a little awkward at first. Yarn over, pull through two. You're still doing a double crochet. Pull through two. So you have an X there. In some patterns you do a triple crochet instead of a double crochet, but I wanted a tighter fabric with this. Okay, so you've already done that one. So skip 
ahead too. And the jets are up for busy today. We're not that far from the Air Force Base. Double crochet. Yarn over. Sometimes I have to put my finger on there to keep it in place. And we're going to come back to the one that we skipped. I really like this double crochet X pattern that I've been working on. I believe I picked it up. Oh, goodness. There's so many YouTube channels that I follow these days. I think I picked it up on Crystal's Bag of Day page. She has so many fabulous tutorials. I also watch Cinnamon Stitches. She's great. Sliding that in there. Okay, then we're down to the last two. So in those last two, I'm just going to do straight up double crochets and not cross them in the X. There's one. And sometimes the end, you have to find that second loop. There it is. So it still looks like the V on top. Pull that through. Now that we're in at the end of that row, you'll start seeing the texture forming up. I'm going to chain one, turn our work, Half double crochet all the way across the work. I'm in a, filming this in a real awkward position, so bear with me. There's two. Eight. Nine. And ten. Okay. Now, I don't want to waste the yarn, so I'm not actually going... Well, I'm going to have to. Okay. This is where... We cut our yarn. Oops, come on. Cut the yarn. And we bring in our white. For the single crochet row. I'm going to capture the yarn and pull it up through there. And then I take the dark color 
and pull it taut. Put one chain on the white. I'm going to insert my hook through the front loop. Or Yeah, I haven't turned the work yet, so it's still a front loop. Grab both of those tails, pull them up through. And pull them out. Why can't I get a hold of that? There we go. Okay. So I pulled those out. I still have my loop on my hook. I'm going to turn my work. Insert my hook as normal under the, both loops of the V. I'm going to lay those tails across the top and crochet over the tops of those. I like to crochet in my ends as I'm going. That's just me. Not everybody. Some people like to sew ends. I can't stand sewing ends in. So anytime there's a chance of me crocheting over the top of ends, I do it. And this is just a row of single crochets that I'm using to separate the colors with. Just a little definition and brighter color. Oops, come on. And of course my ends wouldn't be so close to this end of the work on a larger piece. This would be really, really pretty for a scarf. Also, it's great texture. And at this point, I would cut it off and turn the work and start it with the half double crochets around. And I would join it the same way I did with the single crochet. So next, I will show you what the blanket looks like when it's all finished. <laughs> 